تعطيك كيف حالك تفقد لي كثير ما اكلمك اخبارك تعمل كيف الدراسه معك انا والله الحمد لله تمام بخير قلت لك خلينا متواصلين كملك ما تتصل بي سحابك being away from my family for so long has been tough but i feel like i owe them cuz i've been given this opportunity and i shouldn't put it to waste my name is ahmed ramzi qaid al amadi my father is from yemen my mother is indian and i'm living in toronto now these are my three sisters afaf Iman and Wafa I miss them so much it's been a year since I've seen them I've really been thinking about what would be my situation if I was still there and the feeling of uncertainty and just utter helplessness unparalleled to anything that I've ever felt before. I could have gotten it way worse than and everyone that were forced to be there in that situation and that was the worst case scenario and now I mean the best case scenario. Those kind of situations really shape who you are and I would not take that back even though it was a really bad time and it was I wouldn't wish uh, for anyone to go through that but those situations really mold your personality, mold your character and just make you a better person in, in every sense. Sorry, go stand up. Welcome to Canada. This is what it is. The Maple Leaf. I really think what makes a home a home is your family and your friends. <laughs> and I'm lucky enough to have managed to find that here in Toronto. People in Yemen and Canada are so similar in a sense that they're so welcoming and they're so nice and they really make you feel like you are at home and you're comfortable and you trust them. I didn't really have to change who I am because the people around me were people like me. People from different backgrounds people from different places around the world and people with different stories <laughs>